Welcome to the TLD GPU 180 and 90 K VA inspections guide. This video will walk you through the essential steps to ensure your GPU is ready for operation, focusing on tire, brake, engine, and power connection inspections. Start by inspecting all four tires for proper inflation. Check that the lug nuts are properly torqued to ensure safe operation. Next, perform a thorough walk-around inspection of the unit. Look for any visible damage, such as dents, scratches, or loose components. Report any damage to maintenance personnel for repair before operating the unit. Release the brake bar and carefully test the brakes to ensure they are functioning properly. Properly functioning brakes are crucial for safe operation. Address any issues immediately. Check all the lights on the unit, ensuring that each one is operational. Inspect the hitch and tow mechanism to ensure they are secure and in good working condition. A properly functioning hitch is critical for safe towing operations. With the engine cover open, begin by checking the coolant level to ensure it is within the recommended range. Next, check the DEF level, applicable for Tier 4 Final and Stage 5 engines. Inspect the battery and cables to ensure all connections are secure and free from corrosion. Check the engine oil level, ensuring it falls within the crosshairs on the dipstick. Finally, make a visual inspection for any conditions that could affect serviceability, such as loose hoses or a frayed engine drive belt. Address any issues immediately to prevent operational failures. Inspect the GPU output cable connectors for any foreign objects, fraying, or signs of fluid contamination. If you notice any fraying or damage that affects the connection, contact Mercury GSE support for servicing. By completing these inspections, you help ensure that the GPU 180 or 90 KVA unit is safe and ready for use. Regular inspections are key to maintaining reliable operations. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the TLD GPU 180 and 90 KVA starting and shutdown procedures guide. This video will walk you through the essential steps to safely and efficiently start, operate, and shut down your GPU unit. First, ensure that the battery disconnect switch is in the on position. This allows power to flow to the GPU's systems. Press the green button to turn on the GCM, the main control module of the unit. Wait approximately five seconds for the GCM to reach the blue start screen, indicating it's ready for engine start. Press and release the blue button to start the engine. The engine will enter a warm-up sequence lasting up to 60 seconds. If the engine is already warm, the GCM will skip the warm-up sequence automatically. Once the engine is warmed up, review the operating screen for any engine codes. Address any issues before proceeding. Use the turning knob to navigate through key features of the GPU and review the following levels and metrics. Diesel exhaust fluid level, fuel level, engine hours, oil pressure, coolant level, RPMs, and battery level. Ensure all levels are within normal operating ranges. The generator is now ready to provide power. If an error code is displayed, power down the unit by pressing and holding the blue button for three seconds. After the engine shuts down, Cycle the battery disconnect switch off and then back on to reset the system. If the error persists, contact a service technician for further assistance. In cold weather, the engine's automatic intake manifold heater will activate. Wait until the heater icon disappears before following the normal starting procedure. This ensures the engine is properly preheated for efficient operation. Now that the ground power unit is ready to be connected to the aircraft, Please refer to the manufacturer's operations manual on how to properly and safely operate the vehicle. When power is no longer needed, disconnect the power cable from the aircraft according to the manufacturer's operations training manual and stow the cables in the designated location on the generator. Properly stowing the cables prevents damage and ensures they are ready for future use. To shut down the unit, press and release the blue button the engine will cool down for 60 seconds before shutting off. During the cool down period, you can cancel the shutdown by pressing the blue button again. After shutdown, 
maintain battery power to the engine computer for at least 120 seconds. This allows the engine control module to register any existing faults and purge the diesel exhaust fluid injection system on tier four final engines. Do not turn off the main battery disconnect switch during this time to avoid triggering diagnostic trouble codes on the next startup. Use the emergency stop or e-stop button only in case of an emergency. Activating the e-stop will immediately shut down the engine and transmission controller, potentially causing abrupt vehicle movement. Always warn bystanders and brace yourself before using the e-stop to prevent injuries. By following these procedures, you ensure the safe and efficient operation of your GPU unit. Always prioritize safety and report any issues to maintenance personnel immediately. Thank you for watching.